some techniques i use uh to generate ideas the first one is kind of like a chicken drawing method where it's it's kind of like a scribble you like you 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 don't want to start with like a clean shapes. So sometimes when we are like, a, sometimes if you are like seeing this uh, empty canvas, you're not sure like what to draw, right? And if you if you think like uh, this big canvas, like you try to fill it, like you be like very precise when you are doing uh, any painting. So what I would recommend when you're like doing idea generation, these are the methods I try to do. Again, there's no like a rule that I only do particular method uh, or the other ones. So whatever I feel to get the job done at that moment. So let's say the first one is kind of like a scribble that I try to do like, okay, let's say I want to draw some kind of a tree. So I, I try to do a scribble and I'm not like making it perfect. So this is this sketch is purely for myself, like for no one else basically. Slowly, I, I, I start to see the shapes and stuff. So by doing this is like you're throwing away that perfectionism mindset of like uh, making beautiful picture. But this is for concept art. It's not about like uh, making a beautiful picture. It's about like how you solve the problem. Basically, it's a problem solving thing. I, I can later on, I can just like uh, uh, like reduce the opacity of this layer and start like cleaning this up. But when I'm, when I'm doing this, like I try to be very loose, maybe, okay, what if I have like a thicker and smaller top? I just try to try to do this where it's very loose, very sketchy. You can just do this in paper or digital, whatever you prefer. Um, so this is the first method I try to do. Even for end romance, if I want to do like a, a, a small thumbnail sketch, let's say. And sometimes I try to be very loose. It's basically, if I be particular that I want to draw a rock over there or here, I, I might end up doing the same thing, right? You just be very conscious of your thoughts, then you end up doing the same kind of stuff. So you want to be very loose and let your imagination flow on. Like also, like sometimes a happy accidents, you accept that. Sometimes also you just be like abstract in the sense where you, you let the brush do the work. So maybe I'm just like, oh yeah, thinking that's really cool. Maybe it could be like a sand dunes and there's like a yeah, spaceship crash. That is really nice, what if I, then slowly, it's like, this is a point I, I kind of feeling that, oh yeah, this comp is interesting. Then I just like stick with that. Yeah, so the first method is uh, purely, purely the chaos It's like, it's, just scribble like let your ideas flow like maybe maybe what if i uh like and also sometimes i think uh before i'm drawing like let's say what if i change the camera angle all right what if i have like kind of like a bird's eye view maybe maybe this is basically this these guys who explored this crashed spaceship they're entering into the spaceship Right. You just see the cables and stuff because it's destroyed. This is really cool because like right now I got like the second shot. Maybe this could be the establishing shot. And this is the guy because like I need to also have this guy somewhere very close to that. Maybe okay. they're maybe they gonna like enter into the enter into the crashed spot and uh, and now they enter into this and the, maybe the next shot is like maybe that hub of the spaceship or maybe something else too. Uh, maybe they are inside the spaceship and it's kind of like a, a circular room. 
then they see like some kind of alien artifacts. Cables everywhere. I'm not like thinking about like the mood, feeling and stuff. It's basically right. framing and ideas, right? Like I, I really like this three thing right now. Yeah, establishing it, entering into the spaceship and you see this like weird stuff. Maybe it's kind of like a pulsing. Right. There's like a life inside and maybe it could be like a metal. Like sometimes when I'm when I'm thinking like all these ideas might pop, right? So So this is particularly for like a personal project or let's say you are directing something. It's not like given by client. If if there's a brief from the client, you know what you want to do. But uh, this is you just like coming up with your stories. Like and when I'm doing this, like I'm just also like try to write everything what that comes to my mind. So I didn't just like think about it and just sketch and leave. I just like try, okay, maybe that pulsing, that metal, and maybe this hanging cables. I try to write each and everything that comes to my mind. It's better to like write it down so that you don't forget. And I go on a hundred reference based on this writing sometimes. Maybe this guy is, is like this small and with the torch light, these, these guys might see that. And I really like the circular chamber and it need to feel like destroyed, right? So. Sometimes this sketch is more than enough for me to get into the 3D. Yeah. So I can show. So this is called like kind of like a chicken drawing, right? It's like the sh so fast.